I don't think I ever told you guys before, but my first job ever, ever in life was working. Technically, they said it's a restaurant, but I consider it a little deli shop known as Subway. Yes, I've worked at Subway for, well, I worked there for pretty much like a year. Yeah, I worked there a year when I was starting up my little YouTube career, even though it's still growing up and getting bigger and bigger slowly, but surely. But when I was working at Subway, there was this one time that everything completely changed the game for me and it made me feel sick about eating at other places that just feel disgusting to me. So this is what happened. Pretty much one day, I had the night shift. The night shifts are always cool. It's always filled with so much young and cool people. There's always going to be those one cool guy that is going to lay back and chill, make his money and relax. So, you know, I worked with some pretty cool people. And I worked, I remember coming in at 2 p.m. Just coming in at 2 p.m. Whatever, 2 p.m. to 10. It was like a two, yeah, just a little eight hours. I remember they gave me that the first time I got there. And, you know, I was learning a lot at that job. But this is where it gets crazy, okay? So I remember making some lady sandwich and making her sandwich <laughs> was, was pretty hard, you know? She was this pretty strict lady, she was mean, so I was like, okay, whatever, let me throw in the, the cheese and the meat and put it in the toaster. I was like, here. I was like, <laughs> I didn't really cry, but I'm funny. But I was just, pu you know, putting all her stuff on, putting the toaster. And I remember right when the toaster finished beeping, I opened it and I checked on her food, right? You know, it was nice and good. But I see something moving in the cheese. And seeing something move inside that cheese, I saw it closely and it was a fly. And keep in mind, I made her sandwich pretty damn well from that point on. So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna still use it. So I used that sandwich that had a fly on it, put all her veggies on it, put the sauces, whatever, scribble, scrabble, made everything really good and, and tasty for at the end of the day, cut her sandwich in half, wrap it up, it was a foot long, and I charged her, I don't remember, like seven something, because she got a cookie and a drink. And she's like, oh, thank you. And I remember looking in her eyes, and she looked at my eyes, and she gave me a $2 tip. And I took that $2 tip, and I gave her sandwich away. You know why? Because I didn't want to be wasteful for food. So you know what? Flies are actually good proteins. It gives you a couple of good muscles, if I heard from Bell Grylls himself. <laughs> but here's another story at Subway. This is actually the most coolest thing that happened to me at Subway. So I remember I was cleaning up and I was like just chilling and working with one of my cool co-workers. I'm going to call her G because now she's like a longtime friend of mine and she's so cool. What's funny too about her, she's my next door neighbor So and we worked at Subway. So it was a random thing how we became friends. I remember one day just cleaning up, you know, before we were about to close, and I found a $50 bill on one, by one of the tables. And I was so hyped that I said, look, GG, look what I found, look. She's like, oh my god, you just found $50? Is it part of the register? And I said, no, it's not. I just found it right here on the ground. She's like, no way, no way. She's like, are you going to keep it? Me? I don't like to be stingy with my money. I feel bad sometimes when, you know, no one eats. So I was like, you know what, let's put 25 25 She's like, you sure? I was like, yeah. She's like, you're the nicest person ever. I've never seen anyone that can do that. Most people just take the money. I was like, you know what? I'm not that type of guy. Everybody eats. I want to make sure everyone's happy and having fun. You know, we all get to spread each other love and all equally. It's like, what's the whole point of being mean and being a savage poopy head? Because no one likes those kind of guys. Completely just terrible. All right, let's move on to another story. This story is pretty hilarious. I'm not going to lie. I used to do this all the time with my other coworker, and I remember doing this, and I felt so bad, but even though I still did it because I hate when it was busy, and I used to hate dealing with rude customers all day. So I remember one of my coworkers is like, hey, you should put cash only sign, so that way we only charge people only cash, so we don't have to do any debit cards or any other payments. And I was like, you know what? That is totally right. Let's only do cash only. So we did only cash only, and keep in mind, the whole day, the whole store was dead, and we didn't even make a single soul. Probably like one or two sandwiches, and that's it. It was pretty funny. Me and her used to laugh a lot, because we see a lot of people just being frustrated because we used to put a bunch of cash-only signs, and people would get mad about it. They'll be coming in super hungry, and it's cash, and they walk away feeling all sad, and then they're forced to eat something else that they didn't want to eat. Now if I think of it, I'm a huge a-hole for doing that. That is the most worst thing I can do possible. Alright, moving on to another story. Okay, guys. 
Don't ever do this. This can harm your risk at a job that you work at for now, even though you guys support yourselves or others. I remember myself and I, me, me typically me, I used to turn off the open sign on my job early because I wanted to go home on time. I used to turn off exactly at 9.50 even though my job closed at 10 o'clock. It was 9.50 I closed 10 minutes early because I wanted to clean up everything and make sure everything was all good for the next people and for, for, for whoever comes in. So I cleaned up everything all fast. But pretty much one of my other managers, you know, caught me and said, hey, what are you doing? Why are you closing 10 minutes early? And I said, in reality, I wanted to go home early. And she gave me a verbal warning. So guys, don't do that. It's terrible risk. Having, you know, don't risk yourself. It's pretty cool, but don't do it. I wouldn't recommend it. <laughs> but I did excel young and dumb, even though I'm still young. <laughs> But also guys, if you guys like this YouTube video, you can really like, comment, subscribe, man. You guys would be the best people ever in the whole world. And I love all you guys, okay? So all you guys stay safe, be real, and be yourselves, okay? I'll see you guys. Peace. And I love you guys. Bye.